September 3rd, 2010, from the crappy basement headquarters of AWS Studios, this is the Almost Weekly Show with Bitsy Manitow. Thank you for joining us on this beautiful Friday. Today on our program, we're covering very important breaking news, tips for college freshmen, and of course, Tony's in the field getting ready to fill us in on all things book rental. Now, granted it's early to judge, but this semester on the Boilermaker campus, student intelligence seems to be at an all-time low. While the average high school GPA of Purdue undergrads accepted to the university is 3.5, three people managed to get hit by moving vehicles the first week school was in session. One by a car, one by a bus, and another by Harry Potter during a game of Quidditch. <laughs> Speaking of Harry, um, he's still waiting on that apology, Dave, as you knocked off his glasses and Hufflepuff won the match. Yeah, Dave, Hufflepuff. The Purdue football team takes on Notre Dame in South Bend tomorrow. I hope the Boilers win because I've got 20 bucks riding on that game with money I usually reserve for a good facial wax. If we lose, my boyfriend will have to deal with not only an extremely unattractive unibrow, but probably my thick brown upper lip stash as well. Apple has come out with a new iPhone, the iOS 4. I took a couple minutes yesterday to look at the promotions and I have to admit, the one with the guy in the military being able to connect through the video telephone app to see his wife and unborn baby during an ultrasound made me weep gently. But after a few moments, I realized that I too wanted to achieve this dream. So yesterday, I enlisted in the military and then got married to my beautiful new wife, Helga. I think she may be pregnant with seven babies, so our ultrasound promo for Apple may be a bit longer than a minute, and hopefully <coughs> Steve Jobs will pay us a bit more. Alrighty, freshmen, this next 40-second bit was designed especially for you. Here are the top five tips to not looking like a freshman when you are, in fact, a freshman. Number one, don't have posters of anything Justin Bieber related in your room. I really hope I don't have to elaborate on that one. Number two, and this should be obvious, don't wear your varsity jacket from high school. Everyone will assume that your high school sucked anyway, which it probably did. <laughs> Number three, don't talk about how drunk you got last night loudly in class. First of all, everyone will think you're a freshman that has never been drunk before, that you're stupid. And most importantly, all the people that overhear you will not want to share notes in case you miss class due to what I'm sure will be a major hangover because of how drunk you got last night. And number four, don't wear sweatpants to class or you'll end up looking like Carl. <laughs> and finally, number five, don't walk around campus with your nose firmly rooted in your mortarboard, staring at the map, or you'll probably walk out into the street and get hit by a vehicle, proving that freshman intelligence is still at an all-time low. <laughs> a moving vehicle. <laughs> get it, Indiana cows. Anyway, Tony is over on Chauncey checking out the book scene. Tony, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, ladies. Hey, Tony. Hi, Tony. Obviously <laughs> picking up chicks. Um, have you found any good deals? Oh, yeah. I found plenty of good things. <laughs> yes, and what of book deals? Oh, yeah, those. Well, there's a new rental system in place this fall, but it's not available for every book in every course. And why is that? If you ask me, Bitsy, I think it was all planned by publishers to bankrupt college students across the nation. You have this book to rent, right? You get it for the semester, then you go to return it, and what? They tell you they don't want it, and you have to keep it. It gets charged to your debit card, forcing you to take another overdrawn fee so that you can't take out that cute transfer student from Japan who speaks just enough English to make you feel that it could be more than just looks that attracted you to her. <laughs> so, are you saying that students should purchase books rather than rent them? Yes, they should definitely buy them, but the trick is they should photocopy them in Hicks and then return them by this past Tuesday. Duh. Um, but, but Tony, Tuesday has come and gone? The solution is obvious. I think that someone should start working on a time machine so that Tuesday can come again. Alrighty, Tony. <laughs> Concerning books, what sort of advice would you give students this semester? Steal them, but don't get caught. Tony, everyone. Well, thanks for joining us today for the Almost Weekly Show. We're on Facebook, we hate MySpace, and we're on the old YouTube as well. Episodes will be out on Fridays, and we may have promos out sometime on Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. It just depends on how lazy my correspondents are. Enjoy your weekend, and if you get any really hilarious pictures of you and your friends, send them our way. Email them to thealmostweeklyshow at gmail.com. Maybe you'll show up next to my face. I'm Bitsy Matatal, and that's it. Yeah.